पतंजलि चवन प्राश प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन तीन में अब वक्त है पुरुषों के डाइटी टू यानी के बानवे किलो ग्राम वर्ग कुश्ती का देवी और सज्जनों मुंबई महारथी की ओर से आ रहे हैं भारतीय मूल के सत्यव्रत कात्या से फौलाद बने दंगल के उस्ताद बने जीतने आए पतंजलि छवन प्रोस प्रो रेस्लिंग लीग सीजन तीन के पुरुषों के बानवे किलोग्राम वर्ग कुश्ती के इस वाउट में वीर मराठास की ओर से आ रहे हैं और मीनिया मूल के जॉर्जी के थोए Sathyavrat Kadyat Mumbai Maruti is uh, grappler stepping onto the match in the men's 92 kg category 24 year old this season in PWL lost his opening bout to Aslan went down on technical superiority and then of course went on to beat Ricky of UP Dangal 10-2 but he goes up against Georgi of uh, Armenia the 32 year old bronze medalist of the world championships 2017 Who won his opening bout uh, this season, beating Robal Shreed on technical superiority, was blocked in the second contest. Vijendra Daya, the referee for this match, the tie score, remember, is level at one apiece. In the commentary box, I'm Raman Banot. With me, John Taylor, and of course, the owner of Veer Marathas, Vishwajit Saxena, is here with us as well. Warm welcome to you again. Thank you, Raman. This just might be contest. an interesting contest. Kadyan's got a point to prove. Georgi, the more favoured of the uh, two grapplers in terms of pedigree and achievements. Excellent, both wrestler. Part in the uh, Rio Olympics as well, did uh, Georgi? But this is the weight category, John. Way we might just see the Contest. ideal mix of some quick moves and a whole lot of upper body strength coming into play. Absolutely, Raman and. Uh... Yogi Kepev has got this world championship bronze last year. Excellent. So he's mixed with the top guys and uh, probably just has that little edge. Satyavat Kadyan won the Commonwealth Championship gold, but remember that Commonwealth Championship not quite at the same level as the Commonwealth Games. Yes, but he did have a silver at the Commonwealth Games in 2014 at uh, Glasgow. Did Satyavrat Kadyan? So it will be interesting to see how he goes up against a slightly more burly Georgi, who's a little more experienced as well. He's the older of the two. Is the uh, grappler from Armenia? But this is about. I'm sure Vishwajit has penned down for the Veer Marathas. Is uh, about they'd win. Yeah, Georgi is somebody we have a lot of hopes from, and he's been a consistent performer for the last few years. And hopefully he'll do really well and win this one for us. Must be very difficult when you're putting together your strategy for the auction to decide where to spend your money. You know that you've got to win four bouts in this league stage and five in semi-finals and final, and uh, you've got to balance that team very carefully, haven't you? Yeah, and uh, we're pretty sure that we've got a balanced side. And in the heavier, heavier weight categories, we've got international players where the international players have been doing well. And in the lesser weight categories, Indian players have also performed really well on the international stage. So that was a mix that we were looking at when we were in the auction. And interestingly, for today's matchup, Ritu Fogart uh, is, uh, is that weight category that's been blocked today, so she's not uh, going to be on in, in action. That's a disappointment. One of the players has to stay back. So it was Ritu Fogart's day today. Well, just 30 seconds left in this uh, first period, and uh, 
not a lot of action the referee trying to encourage them just uh, winding that arm up trying to wind up the action and uh, he's given a point in fact to the blue corner Jorgi gets that uh, passivity is seen to be the fault of Satyavar Kadian and there goes uh, the whistle to signal the end of the first period of three minutes. Who deny you're looking on? And I expect to see him to come out firing on all cylinders and really try and take a grip on this match in the early part of the second round. Satyavat Kadian will have noted that too, and he'll be on the defensive, I'm sure. First half attack coming in from Satyavat Kadian. Trying again. And Yorgi uh, counters easily now looking to uh, initiate an attack himself I think Satvet is doing a good job up till now of holding Georgi's lead to one point only but he's been a lot of defense what happened in that first period was Georgi was standing a lot more upright and just trying to measure up what Satyavrat could do right from the start of round two, you can see Georgie showing a lot more intent. He's looking to bend low, maybe feint the old, uh, you know, the uh, single leg hold at times is what he's attempted to do. Then try to uh, mix things up. I think this could be quite a handful for Satyarvat Kadian over the next couple of minutes. Yeah, interesting. He's defending it well, though. I mean, again, we've gone past the one minute mark in the second period, and uh, referee very unhappy with the lack of action. Don't think he's actually cautioned anybody yet, but it'll soon come. Now, the leg attack went in initially from Satyavat Karyan, but it was countered beautifully by Yorgi Ketev. And uh, he's gone out to a three-point lead with that two-pointer. Now trying with the gut wrench to turn his man. Can he get him over? Yes, he can. Two more points. The hold being broken by the referee there, but uh, it's cost him four points in all. He went for the attack, and that's what went against him because Georgie quickly wriggled out of that single leg hold, managed to pin his opponent down, and then the flip over for another two. Four points in all, he's five to nothing up, and time's running out for Satyavrat Kadian now. There's a man in the commentary box who's got a smile on his face, and why not? Vishwajit's a happy man, the team owner for Veer uh, Marathas. In the second round, Georgi is playing to his potential and it seems he's measured what Tevat Kadyan can actually do and now he's more aggressive and he's scoring more. Last one minute. We are not over it yet. We mustn't prejudge it. We've seen uh, these contests turn around. But at the moment, I think you're probably quite happy it's going the way you expected it as we come to the end of the third bout. Yeah, very close, but we've seen some really close finishes, last 10 second finishes in the league up till now. So, another 30 seconds to go before we can celebrate. For the moment, I'm sure your camp feels otherwise because they're celebrating, not in the picture frame at the moment. The rear Marathas are a noisy bunch at the, at the moment, just outside uh, the frame. It just seems as if George has taken a little cut to the right of his face. There we come then, the last couple of seconds, the last desperate attempt by Satyavat Kadian and uh, shaking his head, thinking I really couldn't get to grips with my opponent in that one. Haven't uh, managed to carry it off as I'd have wished. And the victory confirmed, it goes to Yorgi Keteev, the Armenian wrestler, the man with the superior experience.